Have you ever thought to yourself, landing jobs in today's market is way, way too easy. So here's how you can guarantee that you'll stay unemployed forever and you'll never find a job ever again. Rule number one, keep telling yourself that now isn't the right time and that you're simply not ready. You'll wanna keep listening to that voice in the back of your head that is insecurely telling you that you aren't ready, now isn't the right time, you need to build up some more skills, do a little bit more work before you put yourself out there and actually apply for a job you want. You just need a little bit more time, a year or two more preparation, and then you'll actually apply yourself and try to get a job. See, everyone only starts applying when they have 100% chance of passing those interviews with flying colors, right? It's not like people apply, land interviews, and then use that interview pressure to actually get better. So might as well just never apply until I feel absolutely 100% ready. You shouldn't even bother unless you feel fully competent and prepared. You'll want to keep telling yourself this so you can put off those initial applications, and soon you'll realize that you'll never feel truly ready, which is great, because then you'll never actually apply, which means you'll never land any job offers, which is the goal, after all. Rule number two, give up easily. As soon as you face any kind of negative discomfort or feedback, just give up. Now, if you break rule number one and somehow put yourself out there and actually apply for a job, you'll want to take every rejection deeply to heart. Take everything very, very personally. Even if it's something as simple as an automated rejection email, you'll want to use that as evidence that you should have never even tried in the first place. God forbid, if you actually get an interview for some reason and you fail, you'll want to also use that too as a strong reason why you should just never try at all. Listen, it's simply not worth the pain and discomfort of going through an interview and failing, so you shouldn't even try in the first place and just give up as easily as possible. That means barely applying to just a few internships or jobs because at the end of the day, you want to minimize the shot of getting that interview and the fewer applications you put out, the lower probability it is that you actually get any kind of opportunity to interview and prove yourself. So make sure to minimize your applications and give up at the first sign of difficulty or rejection. Now, in addition to giving up easily, rule number three is that you'll want to blame everyone but yourself. When you inevitably get rejected from those very few applications you put out, just blame the market. The market's bad, that's why I got rejected. Never take accountability for your failures because as soon as you do, you have a chance to improve and that's what we're trying to prevent at all costs. If you fail an interview, just blame the company, blame your school. If the company's biased against me, it's a senior only market. I should have never studied computer science. It's ridiculous that these companies expect such high standards. They should be handing out jobs. I shouldn't have to work this hard. It's so unfair. You'll want to keep on repeating those statements to yourself every single day. One of the most important things if you want to stay unemployed together is to make yourself a victim. Now, when your friends and family ask you why you don't have a job, you'll want to blame the market. Just tell them the market's bad. Not because you didn't put in the work, but because of something outside of your control. That's why you're in this situation. Eventually, that will get them to stop asking you about it, which will make sure you stay as unmotivated as possible. Rule number four is to rely solely on luck to get that job. At all costs, do not improve your application or interviewing skills. After all, if the whole process is luck anyway, then what the hell is the point of even trying to improve? Your friend got a job, they got lucky, they're one in a million. Your older sibling has a job, well, the market was better back then, that's why they have a job and I don't. Avoid improving your resume, don't get unpaid internships and research to improve your application, do not do mock interviews with friends and family. All of that doesn't matter because it's just luck, right? So why would you ever try to become a more qualified candidate? On that note, instead of practicing lead code because you know that every single company requires it in the online assessments and interviews, you'll want to complain that it just shouldn't be necessary, that these companies shouldn't be asking lead code problems if that's not what the job is. Avoid studying lead code until the very last minute, and then maybe right before the interview you can run through a few problems. After all, you know that's not going to make an impact anyway, so that's fine to do. If you do study, then spend most of your time glancing through problems and solutions, rather than putting yourself in the uncomfortable process of actually trying to solve those problems. You really don't want to get good at this, right? Rule number five is to never ask for help. You don't want anyone to give you advice. After all, if anyone helps you achieve your goal, then you didn't do it on your own. So the job offer doesn't actually count, right? At all costs, do not ask for a referral. If you get a referral, that would be favoritism. See, not everyone has the opportunity to get those referrals, so you should purposefully avoid using your network to level the playing field and make it as difficult for you as possible. That's only fair, right? And don't use any paid resources. Stick to free high-level resources online and continue doom scrolling on r slash CS majors, r slash CS career questions, and Instagram reels and TikTok. Convince yourself that you just don't need any external accountability, that everything is for free online. Keep telling yourself that investing yourself is money down the drain and spend that money on drinking, going out with your friends, gambling. Your college experience is about having fun. So you shouldn't spend your hard-earned money on increasing your skills and investing in yourself 
Instead, spend your money on short-term experiences and things like the new iPhone or a Nintendo Switch. In fact, you'll want to build up the ego of knowing that you don't have a job, but it's only because you didn't sell out to the tech companies and master the interview process by getting help from others. You're a lone wolf at the end of the day. And finally, rule number six is to avoid joining the Software Engineering Accelerator at all costs. The Software Engineering Accelerator is my premier program where you'll work directly with me over a period of a few months to land your dream software engineering job or internship. And if you're trying to stay unemployed forever, the last thing you should do is join this program specifically because the program is 100% guaranteed. So if you don't land your job offer, you don't actually pay anything. And because of that confidence, you'll wanna make sure you avoid joining just to make sure you never find a job because every single student in the program gets a job or they pay zero dollars. One student I recently worked with is Udvik Suchdeva and together we were able to get him an incredible $60 per hour name brand internship at a company like Capital One. I mean, he had only done one internship before that was only like $20 an hour. So if you don't want to be like Udvik, don't click the link in the description to learn more about the program and see how it can help you land that dream software engineering offer you're going for. Guaranteed.